right? Well, good morning, everybody. And I'm delighted to be speaking to you about uh, the results analysis now that the Nectar have published all the school's results. Um, and what I'm doing with Barbara's help, I've, um, I will speak to you in English, but we have um, the slides translated into key Swahili as well. So I will share my screen with you and we will go through the presentation in Swahili while I speak in English. I, I hope that is clear. Some of the words may be quite small on your screen, but no worries, we can send you the presentation as a PDF document as well. So analyzing exam results. That's a page of the results analysis. You won't be able to see all the detail of the figures and things, but for each school that we know is linked with the Tanzanian Development Trust, we've got their division one, two, three, four scores, the total students, the pass rate, the change in the pass rate, the pass rate at the higher divisions and the change in it and the GPA and the higher GPA score in for those uh, changes from 20 to 21. And that gives us a lot of useful information. So why analyze the exam results? Five main reasons. First of all, so we can find reasons to celebrate all the good things that have gone well, to find out what went well and to celebrate them, to find out what didn't go well and ask ourselves why, and to work out how things could be better next year and to help us set goals for the exam results in 2022. So let's look at the areas for celebration. Comparing your results for this year for 2021 with 2020, did the GPA score improve? If so, that's a great cause for celebration. Did the pass rate improve? Another reason for celebration. Did the pass rate at the higher divisions, one, two, and three improve? And did some subjects do particularly well? <clears throat> you can see the subjects GPA scores on the sheet of downloads from Nectar. Have a look who did the best and congratulate them. And what else went well? Were there some students who made particularly good progress that you know about? Well, if there are any reasons for celebration in your school, we would love to hear about it. Make a short video on your phone of what you did and how you feel about it and share it with us, because we'd love to share your celebration and successes with other schools in Tanzania. Now, what didn't go well with regard to your results? We learn most from our failures. It's when thing goes, things go wrong that we have the greatest potential for learning for change. Be honest about the challenges you face and find some small steps now that will make a difference so those failures are not repeated this year and build on those small steps. Support the areas which most need them in your school. If there's a subject where the students find it particularly difficult, work with those teachers in that subject to see if you can help the students make better progress. And for me, kindness and honesty and humility are the essential ingredients of any improvement process. It's not the case that if you shout at people or you bully them, you get good progress. Good progress is made when people kindly and honestly support each other to make better improvements. And when you've got some ideas about what didn't go well last year, make a plan for how they'll go better in 2022. And we're inviting you to set some goals for your school for 2022. Have a look at the associate report page for your school. Decide how many division one, two, three, and four you aim for in 2022. Tell everyone what your goals are in your school and encourage all your teachers to help your raising standards leader to achieve the school's goals. This page is an example of just Tunankam Booker's um, associate report page. And you can see there 
the results for 2020, the results for 2021 for CSEE, and there's a column there in which Mr. Robert could write the goals for Tunam Kambuka for 2022. And later in the year, enter the mock exam results and compare them with the goals. And you can do the same for the Form 2 National Assessments. So that form is there for each school. And I will show you where you can find it. On this spreadsheet, you won't be able to see the detail, but we've got the summary of the results, the rank order GPA, the most improved GPA, the pass rate rank order, and the most improved pass rate. On the main sheet, you'll find all the results. And then for each school at the bottom, the associate report. So you'll be able to find your school and use the associate report in that Excel sheet. But what would be lovely would be to hear from any head teacher who's really pleased about some aspect of their work and share their celebrations with us. And if you can do that on a video recording on your phone, that would be brilliant. For example, here's some reasons to celebrate. Nayali Gamba had the highest GPA score of the schools linked with TDT. Tunam Kambuka has the best GPA improvement of any schools in the group. Zeze has 100% pass rate, wonderful achievement. And Panzua School improved its pass rate from 53% in 2020 to 82% in 2021. That is a wonderful improvement in the pass rate, and it would be great to hear how Panzua School did it. And what Madam Barbara and I hope to do is when you've had the chance to look at what we've talked about today, we could do another session like this where we could talk about the pixel resources we've got to share with you so you can see a bit more about them as we send them through to you. So that's it from me for now, and I'd be really pleased to hear of any suggestions you've got and how you feel about the results. Is that okay, but Janet? Yeah. <clears throat> yes, thank you. V very clear. Um, and welcome to the head from Rusessa, I think. Um, did you want to introduce yourself and do you have any questions? Um, don't know that he has audio. Uh, <clears throat> okay, would anybody like to start? Alpha, how about you? Maybe I'll pause the recording. Yes, you can. Yes, I would like to take this opportunity to thank God, but also to thank everyone, as well as Martin, for his concern and his help for the work that we have done. Because we have at least a big role and we have and uh, we went further to discuss about doing some analysis, making for each subject, for each teacher, to see on how every teacher has performed or has played his role. Therefore, we have proved that there are some subjects that have done very well, uh, and others have not done well, but the most improved subject in from two examination, uh, the, the first subject that did well was English with 93.4%. Therefore, English did well. And the second subject was Kiswahili that did well also with 92.8%. Therefore, in general, and the subject that did bad was mathematics as usual. People normally fear mathematics. Uh, mathematics is bad because the score mark a uh, past student was almost 5.5%. In general, in the four, we found that the first subject was, was 
the subject was English, English as well, then Swahili and the civics. Those are the three subjects that did well with almost uh, 99, 99% of Swahili, all students, only one student that failed, and 88.5 uh, was chemistry, and 87.8 was civics. Therefore, in general, this, what we did, we had discussed last time with Martin and the others, uh, first of all, to share students with normal, uh, things that they are, they are not performing well. We normally share these students with the teachers. Regardless, we are having a few teachers, uh, but we normally share those students that uh, seems to be uh, slow learners. We share them, every teacher shares these students. Therefore, this has improved us, but we cannot forget the great work that have been done by TDT for our school to get an hostel. Because all the hostel, an hostel, all the hostel passed. And no longer failed. Therefore, this shows that there's a big achievement and has led us to achieve well, so long as these students have been staying in the hostel. But even if we had even boys, we are staying in the classrooms. We, we selected one classroom to put boys. Also those boys, all boys who are staying at school passed. Therefore, we found that uh, keeping them all around this ellipse, but also assisting them day and the night and uh, trying to assist those students that cannot perform well individually, uh, also teachers to attend them regularly, as well as uh, to find some past papers and making some revisions this has helped our school to perform well. Thank you very much. That's what I can share for now. Thank you, Mr. Robert. That was a very helpful analysis of the ways in which you've improved. Thank you for sharing that and other schools will benefit from your ideas. Thank you. Is there any other person here who knows of successes in schools they're linked with or um, work in, would be able to say some of the things that made the improvements there? Would anyone else like to contribute? Uh, hello, everyone. Hi. Hello, sir. Yes, hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Is Could there are there any ideas you have, um, Mr. Alpha, over how schools have improved <coughs> that you know of? Yes, yes. Thank you, uh, Mountain and everyone participating in this important meeting. Uh, I would like to speak uh, some few details about our Form 4 results and the Form 2 uh, results of 2022. For Ikondo, if you try to make comparisons with the previous results in 2021, 2020, and 2019, you will uh, see some uh, great achievements in 2022 results uh, starting with the reductions of division zero from 26 division zero in 2021 to nine division zero in 2022. This is a big achievement for our school because one of the things that we are always looking for is mm -hmm. trying to uh, reduce the number of those getting division zero. Uh, and this is a motivation to us as teachers, but also a motivation to our parents who are our main stakeholders. But also even the division one, we have two. Last year we had one division one. So this is also an improvement to our school. But also despite the fact that mathematics uh, did not do well in the exam, but 
we have one student who scored A in mathematics in Form 4 exam. So this is also an achievement. But also the number of girls performing uh, or getting or scoring division zero, we managed to reduce it up to five from 19 of 2021. So this is, and sometimes maybe you realize and ask yourself, apart from, we all know that one of the fundamental duties of a teacher is to make sure students passing the exams. But for our case in Ikondo, the situation is somehow quite difficult because of the environments and whatever. Now, these achievements, uh, we point the effort, a big in, in effort invested by the Tanzania Development Trust, TDT. Uh, they have supported our school in many ways, starting with the hostel. In 2017, we had an opportunity or they funded the constructions uh, of a mini hostel where more than 20 uh, girls were there and we saw the achievement from girls. But as I'm speaking now, we have two classes, two classes which accommodate more than eight girls now and the students are there. So our achievements mostly goes to uh, the presence of hosted at our school, but also the presence of equipments like photocopy machines because it enables us to give our students uh, weekly exams. Uh, so now you, you realize that uh, the cost for giving exams is uh, minimized. But also we had a strategy of dividing students, understanding that we have all who are slow learners who cannot manage to study all seven or nine subjects. So we had all uh, students who uh, can study three subjects, mainly Kiswahili, civics, and English. That's why you can see that uh, despite in the list of schools, you realize that maybe we did not perform good, but in making comparisons, you realize that we are taking and we are making some improvements in the form four results. That is what I can share with you at the moment. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Alpha. That was very yeah. helpful indeed, and a lot to celebrate. To go down from 26 to nine students getting division zero in two years is a great improvement. Yeah. Yeah. And very few schools have a grade A in mathematics. It's yeah. really good to hear the number of girls getting Division zero are going down. Yeah. And it's most impressive to hear that the provision of the hostel has helped yeah. the girls. And I like the idea that you concentrate on key Swahili civics and English to help yes. raise some of the profile of your students. These are yeah. great ideas and we will really help other schools by sharing them, those ideas with other schools who face similar challenges to you. So well done, sir, and thank you for your ideas. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Benedicto, can you say anything about uh, Zeze? Hello. Hi. Yes, I, I have been looking on the document here, and um, it seems that the uh, this secondary school, uh, the performance have increased it by almost uh, six percent uh, by comparison between the results of 2020 and 2021, uh, which is. Um, a good graduate change that we wanted. Uh, some that I can say uh, what it contributed to the changes, uh, it has been uh, from the collaboration between the uh, stakeholders, I mean this private sector and the government itself. As um, uh, the secondary school has received the more teachers, especially uh, women, women teachers uh, who are supporting the girls in school. 
but also um, uh, there are increased classrooms. Uh, those contributed by Tanzania Community Trust and the, uh, the government uh, with the community itself. Uh, also, we have helped to bring in the school the laboratory equipment, which as well help the students to do well in uh, practical, especially in chemistry and the, and the physics and biology. Uh, so this link uh, between the government and the private stakeholders uh, has been showing this improvement. But also another thing that we can see here on the results, we can see that Zeze has no zero this year, uh, but it is in the group of the schools with this uh, small number of students. Uh, which I think it is easier to manage uh, this number uh, compared to the schools which have many, many students, more than 50 students, uh, which I think sometimes it complicates only managing all the students uh, in, uh, in, in their academic issues. So another thing that I think uh, not only for the secondary school, but uh, it, can, it is for Kasul district, I think there have been improving in many schools, uh, especially those schools we have been with, we have been working with. Uh, having uh, services like water at schools have been improving the stability of students uh, in schools. So most of the time that the most school students have been spending on collecting water. Uh, they are spending the same time on uh, on study, so this has a contribution to the improvement of uh, school achievements. Uh, as well, I I have no many or deep information that I can say I can share here, but I think when I share this information with the head teachers and the, the district education officer, uh, they would have the look and then I think they will have uh, the, the comments and the recommendation. As I see here, we have to set up the goal for, 2020, for 2022, which I think uh, this can be done by the school readers, especially head teachers and the district education officer. So I think in the next meeting, I will make sure that we have uh, the district education officer and the head teachers so that they can have the analysis overview about the results of the schools. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you, Benedicto. So, head teacher Magnoni, do you want to speak? Hello, yes. Hello. hello. Yes, we can hello. hear you. Uh, I'm very much uh, interested with what is going on. But uh, what I can say in our school, there is a little drop in percentage rate, in pass rate. Uh, last year, we, are, we had 93.4 pass rate. But this year, we, we have 91.3. Now, when you make a comparison, you can see there is a little bit drop for about 2.1. But compared with the previous years, we have been improving a year after year. But uh, we have done analysis in our school at the school level. And again, we have done the analysis at the region level, but in our school, uh, we have seen that there are some subjects which have contributed uh, contributed much in our general uh, pass rate, but there are a few of them uh, which has lagged back the, the school. 
uh, what you can see here, Kisohil, they have done better because uh, it's about 90, 98% of the students passed, followed by chemistry, which, uh, which take a little students, but our, the subject which has been contributing much in the previous years compared to the current year is English. Uh, this English is about 80, 80 students in a percentage pass rate compared to the previous year, which were about 90. But generally, you can see that there is um, a dropage in pass rate. And we make analysis in, at the school and we found that there are some factors which contributed much in the uh, drop rate, rate of pass rate. And one of them is, we have seen that there are some students who are staying very far from the school. They come late and some they, uh, they, they can enter in the, in the classes and you see the teachers, have, they have started for a long time to teach so they can be lagging behind. And another factors which you have seen that they can uh, lag behind the school is the food provision. There is no food provision in our school because there are some students who are coming here in the morning and uh, they go back to their homes without getting any food from morning to, to noon. And we find this is the factor which can contribute much in the failure of some students. And another factor we have seen here is uh, there is a, some students, they have no teachers, enough teachers. For instance, in commerce, we have only one teachers. Uh, in, uh, in bookkeeping, also we have only one teacher for the whole school. Now this can hinder the, 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 the teaching, the whole teaching process from lower levels to high level. Uh, that is what we have seen. And for this year we have trying and we have made some efforts to make sure that we are going to erase those, uh, those hindrances that we have found. But um, what we can see, there is a huge problem for parents contribution in the food because they contribute materials, especially foods, which can, you can rate in money. It can pay a total of 480 shillings, which seems to be a huge amount of money to them. So we are trying to find somewhere that we can get even fund so that they can, they can help parents to the, to the general contribution for that amount of money. That is what we have seen, and we are trying to see another factor that can help us. Thank you. Thank you. C could I ask you some questions? Um, so you have a hostel. Um, so how many girls are staying in the hostel now? Uh, currently, we have 35 girls, and this uh, it, 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 it can see also it's a problem because there is no continuity for parents to help those girls to stay for the whole year. They can stay for three years, uh, for three months. After then, the money is not enough, then they go back home. Then they stay there for even three months, again, they come back. So there is not continuity for the whole the year so that they can stay at the, uh, the hostel. And that is because they can't afford the food contributions. Yeah. And how many um, places are there in the hostel if it was full? Uh, if the hostel is full, it can, uh, it can take about 56 students. And I think you have a farm, the Shamba at Manioni. Is that true? Yeah, we, we have the Shamba at about three acres. And so but, are, uh, you, are you growing food there to support um, girls at the hostel? Uh, because, uh, 
of course, there is not enough food which you can be, be you can be given from the shamba mm. because um, because of the drought that we are facing in the central region. Okay, so is there any water in the shamba? Uh, we don't have water, but uh, we have the garden that we are watering for the vegetables. Okay, so is the shamba um, a bit further from the school, so you can't get water from the school to the shamba? Hello? Hello? Hello. Yeah, I'm asking um, about water for the shamba. So it, the shamba is further from the school? Uh, we don't have water for the shamba, but uh, we, have, uh, we, we have the water well for right. the normal users. Yeah. And the water well is in the school, I think. Yeah, but water does not enough for water in the chamber. I see. Well, yeah. I would suggest that maybe a good way forward would be if, if you can get water for the chamber, then that I think would help support girls at the hostel longer term, yeah, for, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah. Well, I would suggest that you talk to Wilhard about putting in an application to TDT for, the, okay. for that to expand the use um, of the shamba so that it can support um, yeah. in the school. Would, th would that be a good idea? That would be the best idea. Okay. And I think uh, it's going to be help very helpful for us. Great. Yeah. And could, I, could I also say that um, Manuni is a big school and mm -hmm. the challenges of distance and lack of food it's very good to get a 91% pass rate given the challenges you're facing. So in a big school, 91% pass rate, very good. Well done, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Do, do, do you also have boys staying in the classrooms? Uh, we, have, uh, we have boys um, about, uh, currently we have about uh, 16 boys. And the problem that they are facing, these, these boys, we are collecting them from, they're coming very far from the nearby villages yeah. of the school. Yeah. Who oh, they cannot afford to go back to the nearby villages. So we have uh, chosen one room mm -hmm. for them to stay here in a school. That sounds um, very sensible. So mm -hmm. did you say there's challenges with that or? Now, of course, that is the challenge that we are facing currently. Okay, so ideally you would like to have more boys staying in the classrooms? Yeah, uh, we have, but the problem is they cannot continue to stay for the whole year. Because of the food? Yeah, because of the food. Right, I understand. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I, Janet, I th do you think people would like another session um, late in February or March where we can look at the resources we're able to share? I think that would be very helpful. I mean, potentially even bef before that, because I think there may be, um, I think there's a lot of people that haven't um, seen that, although we could share, obviously we could share the um, previous one, but I think having another one um, meeting in February would be useful. Good, then we, we will have a look at some dates, Barbara and I and yourself, we will see what dates work good well for us and for other people. Fantastic, and I mean, if we can set that up early, perhaps we can um, try to invite as many district education officers as, as possible and other head teachers that haven't been involved yet too. That would be good. Maybe in three or four weeks' time to give them time to put it in the diary and yes, absorb things. Yes, that, that, that would be good. Great. Okay, well, thank, thank you very much. And thank, thank, thank you, uh, Martin and Barbara, and thank you for um, all of the um, people that have contributed. It's been very helpful from my point of view, and thank you all for your responses and for listening. Thank you, and I will circulate the recording um, shortly. Thanks. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks.